So what I'm here to talk about today is artificial intelligence, or AI, and Microsoft's deep belief that humans and computers working together through increasingly intelligent algorithms can drastically change the way that we, as a society, respond to some of our greatest challenges. And so over the past year, we've been working with both Esri and the Chesapeake Conservancy to ask a simple question. Could we join forces to use AI to both accelerate the Conservancy's work and empower more organizations in more places to sustainably manage their lands. And so to test that out, we used the original Chesapeake land cover map as training data for an advanced AI approach called deep learning to create a single land cover classification algorithm with the potential to work across the United States. And so the early results of that research project are what we're showing here for the first time today with our algorithm integrated into ArcGIS. And what you can see here is a location in the Chesapeake watershed and four types of information. In the upper left, we have the one meter resolution NAEP imagery from the Living Atlas. In the upper right, the original Chesapeake land cover map. And then immediately below that, we have the map that's being produced by our deep learning algorithm from that NAEP imagery on the fly, classifying forests and fields, water, and impervious surfaces like roads and houses. And then immediately next to that, we have the same region, but this time we're showing it as a mixture of probabilities from our model across all of those categories. And that's so useful for us because it literally lets us see how the algorithm is thinking and what we might need to do to improve it. So these results look pretty good, but the real power of this approach is that we can use the same algorithm to classify land cover in places that it's never seen before, like this location here in Oakland County, Michigan. And so what you can immediately see is that this intersection's been completely rebuilt, and the image now looks very different from the land cover map that was previously put together by the county. But you can see that almost immediately, using our algorithm, we can begin to update that map with much more current information. Now, as we start to pan around here, you can see that our results still aren't perfect. Our algorithm still has a lot of learning to do about features like roads and houses. The good news, though, is that we can actually use information about those features as new training data for our model. And as our algorithm gets more data from more places, it'll eventually be able to classify land cover across the United States. Now, there's one more point I want to make here, and that's a point about scale. So what we're showing here is the classified output from our algorithm for all of Oakland County, which we were able to produce in just a few hours using image server in the cloud. And the reason that that is such an important benchmark is because it means that for the first time, we'll be, the, the creation of these high-resolution land cover maps will be able to keep pace with the increasing production of high-resolution imagery. Now, if there's at least some of you sitting out there thinking that this all seemed extremely simple, then I've pretty much hit my mark, because that's really the definition of AI done well. It simply disappears into the background, and it lets the user concentrate on the task at hand. In this case, sustainably managing our lands. So this project that I just showed is still firmly in the research phase, but it's not the only way that Microsoft's been working with Esri over the past year. We've also been working to directly align our technologies as well as our resource granting programs. And that's really where you all come in. Because today, for the first time, eligible organizations will have access to not only Esri's ArcGIS software, but also Microsoft's leading AI tools like our Cognitive Toolkit and our Data Science Virtual Machine, which hosts popular applications like RStudio and Jupyter Notebooks. And in fact, our relationship with the Conservancy started through a grant just like the one that we're making available today. So please do get in touch. Let us know your big ideas for how AI can be embraced in your work. Visit our website and apply for access to these resources. Thank you.